Chisholm getting another chance at halfback. With Paul McCabe gaining a reprieve after originally being dropped from the second row, this is the same pack of forwards which surrendered to Norths last week. Canterbury, who have battled a dreadful injury list for the whole season, have been forced to make three late changes because of two more injuries. Mark Hughes comes back at lock forward, replacing Andrew Farrah, and centre Chris Mortimer is the supplies replacement for Steve Folks in the second row. His brother Peter will be partnered in the centres by former fullback Stan Cutler, himself only recently back after injury. English. Taz Pateri, he knows how hard to run. Took the ball well. Coveney. Swamped by McCabe and Borton. Second row is Steve Mullen. Back to Steve Mortimer. Out on the blind side, there he is. Pick up Mark Hughes, allowed to run. Have Brendel with him. Brendel's in under the posts. That's a replica of last week. Brendel scoring a similar try against St George last week. Canterbury well on top. Gary Hughes, Robinson. Gary Hughes, 26 metres out, one tackle to go. Brendel to kick. It's a high one, towering kick. Eden under extreme pressure here. And that's play on. That's a try, Brendel's number two. Brendel put the ball up with the kick. Eden, I don't think, has ever seen the ball kicked higher than that. And Brendel got the ball back. Manly got a penalty from it anyway, and they've taken play almost out of Canterbury's quarter line. But Canterbury are leading 12 mil and about 12 minutes to go before half time. I'm looking at some of these Manly forwards, and they're, they're walking. But here's one fellow who won't, won't walk, he goes for the full 80 minutes. But Broadhurst and Les Boyd in that pack have got to have support. That's McKay down the middle, he's got Boyd with him. Boyd's in the score under the post. First Manly try. Well contrived too. A good try, a good understanding from the two second rowers. And that time it was the Canterbury defence that was a little bit lax in the middle of the, of the field. And Batiri. Kilich. Thompson. It's Boyd. Thompson right out to Eden. Nice break. Got Carey going with him. Pull back across. Inside support, Simon Booth just got it, getting it back. Canterbury away again, but Steve Gearan caught by Carey and Manley have put another one down. Yes, you're quite right. That's been the story. There's been at least uh, three tries where they've put them down, and uh, well, look, the score could have been a lot different to 12 5 to Canterbury. That ball close to the line, Rebo's coming back. Armstrong's up on him. Rebo's taking it easily. Armstrong's going to score. Rebo didn't know he was there. He's touched down for a try, and Rebo can't believe it. Right. Manly desperate for this ball. Get the points on the board, almost half time. Mark Hughes, Brentnell, quick hands to Peter Mortimer. Cutler. Good defence by Michael Blake. Gary Hughes. Brentnell put through the gap. Clever play. Great ball control away. Stevie Mortimer. Won't get him. And again, that was Greg Brentnell. Gary Hughes. Robinson. On halfway. Steve Mullen getting ready to receive this. Here he is. Went past him. Brentnell. Pass Cutler right out to the wing again. Rebo gets a chance here and he's missed the kick. Blake's got it. Rebo's going with him. Rebo must wonder what he's got to do to get the ball. The last time he had it, he had it kicked away from him. Yeah. That time he tried to tie it through and he got nowhere near it. We have those days. 
midway, Canterbury's quarter line and the halfway. Chisholm, Thompson, McKay passed him to Eden. Nice weaving run, he's away. Gearin's chasing, out to Carey. Can he beat the fullback? Yes, he's in. That's a classic tie to Phil Carey. That's one they really wanted to win. Exactly 15 minutes to go. Horton, Thompson. Again, good defence from Peter Mortimer. If he didn't hold him, Rebo. Rebo for the line. He's in. The magic of Rebo. Has brought Manley back into the game. Fired to me. Gary Hughes. Brent Nall. He's had a superb game, this fellow. And look at that pass. Back inside. Peter Mortimer, who's had a good game, has passed, just thrown away, though. Mike Eads has got it for Manley. Well, that could have developed into anything for Canterbury. Rebo running around McWilliam. Coming downfield, the cover coming across. Brendel the beat. Rebo bringing the crowd to their feet. Chisholm, Eden, Boyd, Booth, Blake, Carey. Carey for the corner, support inside. And Boyd. Heart stopping stuff, this. Chisholm, Eden, intercepted by McCabe. Eden. And amazingly, that Canterbury defence is still getting across to cover. Thompson. That's Chisholm again. Weaving through, he's over! Manly in front. Some uh, outstanding hooking and also the penalties. With the, Manly with that ball in the second half, have just put on an incredible performance. To get right back, not only uh, get back into the game, but to hit the lead. Personally, I didn't think uh, it was achievable, but uh, Manly had other views. Some outstanding individual performances. Greg Bretnell, fine try, two fine tries at fullback. Took some great bombs. He chimed into the attack, and even when Manley hit the lead, still up, doing his utmost. Manley not far out. Here's Chisholm trying to make it safer, which he does. A five-point margin with the drop goal by Rich Chisholm and a clear five points lead now. Well, that just about wraps it up, as we say. Five points to lead, and, uh, well, I didn't consider it possible, but uh, the Manly players had other ideas. The line, and Manly quite safe from defeat now. Mortimer and Brentnell. There it is. A great victory. Manly coming back from a huge deficit at halftime. Running out winners by 25 points to 20. And the Canterbury fans must be wondering what their team has to do to win a match. They've now gone seven weeks with...